Welcome everyone to another quick live stream. F live streaming from a completely new T2 installation, latest and greatest, so 23.1, wish me luck. Um, also, a tiny shout that I wanted to do for quite a while already is there is a really annoying regression in the Linux kernel or other AMD GPU or something is that other people also encounter. And that is the, the typical, the only constant is change and regressions, right? I understand Wayland, everything is amazing, DRM, kernel mode setting, yes, the best of the industry. And sure, with the Steam Deck and other companies chiming in there, and certainly AMD, but also Intel with their GPU open source efforts and stuff, stuff is getting amazing also in, in terms of high performance and all the other open source community and enthusiasts, but this kind of regressions then really kill, kill everything. Um, and it's kind of such an unnecessary regression, right? You have high performance Vulkan and state of the art graphics, and then your bloody display doesn't turn on anymore, right? And this cost me so much time until I even realized what's going on here. Because the issue is, I made a short Instagram video this morning. I actually wanted to record this longer, but how it is uh, with. Um, because, so the issue is for a long time, right? For easily six months, if not longer, I have the issue. I leave my Linux workstation either suspended to memory or um, idling um, because it's or like not idling but compiling T2, right? So for a prolonged amount of time, and often I switch the display off then for energy safety and, and display longevity reasons. And for six months, I have it so often I come back to the office and my workstation is dead, right? So the, the, the symptom is you don't have display output, right? And so for decades, like for not kidding, 20 years now, the so running gag is. Linux desktop is great and stuff, but do you have audio? Like with Alza inputs audio and stuff. But now it's like, yeah, do you have display output, right? This, this is so ridiculous. Why did it take me so long um, to diagnose that? I have not yet tried um, reverting all this. And this is still happening today, right? You would hope that eventually um, this would go away. I'm running like it's 6.1. Yes, there is dot three. I know I have this INT2 already. So I'm running the latest and greatest Linux distribution, right? T2, 23.1, literally compiled um, the other day, uh, nearly latest kernel, and even and this also this affects all graphic, right? I, I didn't even usually use Z um, Radeon uh, 6700XT or so. It affects everything from RX for uh, RX or whatever for 460, some like three four year old. I, I don't even know what pre RDNA. Um, it also affects the Ryzen 7000 built-in um, IO die GPU. Um, I guess it's also already. It basically affects everything from the last years as far as I've seen, and that also made it so difficult to diagnose, right? Initially, because initially I thought my new Ryzen, right? I initially it started with the Ryzen 7000. I like you um, so that how is it like? Well, thank you very much. The latest and greatest iGPU. Uh, GPU is unstable, Linux kernel stuff. Then I thought it's bec bec then it also related with my undervolting boost over clock, right? So initially I thought, like, what the bloody heck? Why is this new Ryzen 7000 platform so unstable, right? I left the office, I left compiling, it was compiling amazingly. Um, and then I came back to the office and my, my workstation didn't react, right? And what, what should I then think if, like, I didn't have, this is also the thing, right? I didn't have this for 25 years, right? Sure. Initially, it was an ISA VGA card, then it was an S3 Verge, Matrox, a Millennium 2, um, and, and then whatever. I didn't have this for 25 years, right? And now in 2022 or 2023, you, you don't have uh, display output anymore, right? And the craziest thing is, Years ago, you could zap the zap with with set. Um, the Xbox server was usually control alt backspace or so. It's like yeah, this modern Wayland stuff. You can't even kill it, kill it away anymore, right? And the craziest thing of all, by the way, I found a workaround. Um, DRM info apparently wakes this up, right? So this video here, this is like you don't have video, you you don't have input. You think your your workstation crashed, your USB crashed whatever, nothing, I mean, sure, I could. And the thing is, I didn't always check with SSH, right? If my, naturally, when I come to my Linux workstation or Unix workstation and it doesn't wreck, I, I guess it's crashed. I don't usually go to another Spark station and, and try to secure shell, right? If I come to the office, my bloody workstation doesn't work, I expect it's crashed and frozen and stuff. So it took me actually quite a while. I actually dialed back like 
memory overclock and CPU undervolting. In the end, actually, that wasn't the issue. I can undervolt and overclock my memory much more. The issue was, and obviously I tried before you come in there, like overclock. No, it happens on, and this is not today because I'm back in the office. I left uh, the, the 7000 at home. So this is also with Ryzen 15 or 50X, right? Before you tell my under vaulting and overclocking, no. It happens with the, with obviously all my Ryzen here. It happens with the 15 or 50, 50 50X, 17 or 50X. It happens with my RX uh, <coughs> 560D, whatever. This is strange Asian SKU there with, with less compute units, whatever. Um, there was a 100 euro card from three years ago. It happens with the... Uh, 6700 XT, it happens with the 7000 series built in IODI um, RGN A2 GPU. Um, and yeah, it is frustrating, right? And the craziest thing is, I get that this is difficult to debug, right? So what is happening there? There must be some kind of state management. I don't know if it's rated of me switching the display off, but hey, I want to save energy. Um, and on my previous T2 installation, I didn't have Sway Idle because I was running an older Sway version. Um, I probably should test Sway Idle now. And it also, it's not, and then I thought the, the bugs could be plentiful, right? Then I thought it must be some Sway thing, but then I left the Linux kernel on a text virtual terminal console and it happened the same, right? And it's like 2022 and you can't even leave your Linux workstation on a bloody text terminal prompt without video freezing um, or, or display output not turning on. So it looks to me it's some kind of um, video CRT connected state management. Other people have a similar, if you look here on other people's free desktop AMD and stuff. Five point, so I, I don't know for me if it's 5.18. All I know it's for, for like a while, like for six months or so that happens to me, plus minus give or take whatever. Um, and it's not one graphic card, so it appears to be some generic CRT handling. Um, some people have here, yeah, reverts, like for some people one thing revert helps, for other people another uh, thing actually here is B sector to that, Z. <clears throat> uh, without freezing uh, on a single uh, output using Sway, I mean it's not even Sway for me, VT. Um, it's like, yeah, you can link, uh, you can read this. So the, the thing is, some month ago, like in December, I tried to revert some stuff, like the the simple, one simple revert didn't happen for me. So, I mean, this has closed, it's still happening for me, right? Until today, well, I don't know what whatever closed here. Um, I will probably, yeah, I don't have time for this, right? So to summarize it, it is said, like for me, it, it really depresses me, right? Um, I understand hardware is complex and, and with complex hardware software is complex. I'm fully aware of all the complexities of this. Although I would argue stuff shouldn't be so complex, but yes, we have, analog, God forbid, analog VGA, which even I, as much fan of vintage and retro, I, I never was a fan of, like, not ever, since, since 2005, since the, the advent of affordable DVI displays and stuff, I'm, I'm a fan of... Uh, analog distortion-free digital video of all things. So DVI, HDMI, dual link DVI, um, display port, various display port. Yeah, and that is the complexity, right? A, a display port, probably 0 .1 1.0, whatever, just is it probably 2, HDMI, 1, 1 1.4, 2, all the variants, variable. And the crazy stuff is this is happening it's also happening with various displays, right? It's not only happening with this NEC Multisync PA241W, it's also happening within Sun branded whatever. Um, yada yada. It's so it's not like one display and so on. But it, it is said, right? For 20 years the running gag was, yeah, Linux desktop is nice, but do you have audio like 2022? So running gag is, yeah, and now audio works, but do you have display output? It's like, like do you? Um, yeah, just wanted to shout this out, but um, like I was edit actually DC a display controller, right? As I, just as I expected. Six months ago, which also correlates with like I say, this happens for like six months for me. And the craziest thing of all is that it's still not fixed. And I, I totally understand that this is an annoying bug to debug because even for me, it doesn't always happen, right? It can be a night where I come to the office 
and it works and then it's sometimes it can it can be ours it can and, and sure do you have you heard about this issue no because most people do not leave their computer epic thread wrapping through open source stuff for prolonged periods of time but for power users this is super annoying and i totally understand that this is super annoying to debug because you need to wait hours and you can't be sure does it happen after four hours eight hours 16 hours for me sometimes it doesn't happen after 24 hours and the craziest stuff is sometimes it's recovered so one workaround i mentioned earlier i just by pure chance and accident i found um running drm info um recovers that so apparently that restore some connected state or output stuff uh, some display bit of whatever bit is missing there i mean it should probably not be so hard actually to debug <coughs> now, that, now that i think about this excuse me it's it's autumn and winter here um you only need this broken state and then probably dump the configuration registers and see like what drm like if you are like alex deutsch deutscher uh, Do deutscher deutscher also if you know the AMD code by heart, probably you know exactly what bit there is. Um, it's, yeah, also is this, by the way, is this thing close? Due date, milestone, um, because it, where would it say? Unlock lock issue, close. Oh, wait a second, uh, can you skip? Also, oh, this is close, so maybe, is, would it say whether this one here is close? Issue created, oh, no, this says open only the other one so yeah it's it's hilarious of all things and that's probably also why we don't have the year of desktop linux right there's always something broken um and after 25 years i wish i could say and say everything is amazing everything is working it really saddens me it, it depresses me that in the year 20 22 23 we still need to deal with such bullshit right and it, nobody should have to deal with such nonsense and the craziest stuff is also that it wasted so much time, right? I, I wasted hours with dialing back. I, I was running memory way below rated uh, speeds and stuff, and it still happens. Like, like, dude, what's going on here? And like, rest, like, like, dude, it's an AMD GPU bug. It's like, and yeah, I, and of course, I should praise for AMD for one of the most massive open source GPU driver efforts. And that's what I initially said, right? With AMD and Valve and stuff, Steam Deck making so much progress for highest performance graphic and then it's failing with display outputs it's yeah I, I wonder probably it should be reproducible on steam deck if you run the steam deck for prolonged periods of time and suspend from uh from a connected display probably maybe anyway um that's this whole video i i wish we everything would be amazing in open source land um but yeah i probably should but the, the problem is i i mean i should try some stuff um, but I also, does someone here, by the way, system, uh, I, also two months ago, um, to this, this issue, I mean, and that's also multiple issues already, six months, two months, getting some similar errors, seems like a still issue, but the kernel able to recover with the small screen freeze versus crashing. I mean, it didn't, it didn't crash, it doesn't warn for me, I didn't have any warning. Um, if, if they control alt one CLI prompt display will wake, not locked in, any user back to the UI still wake, I'm locked in, whatever. Um, yeah, it is set. It, it is also crazy that this is in six months not fixed. Um, and sure, it is more sexy and more ful fulfilling and fun to work on high performance Vulkan stuff, but somehow this su such trivial display handling should also really be more stable and the craziest thing is if you run um if you run sway or stuff with, without any vts and you can't recover easily right unless you have secure shell open you can log in and so what i initially did was leave sway running and if this occurred to me secure shell in and kill sway then it will fall back to the vt then this would recover and work could start swag and until I now realized only recently some week ago running DRM info also recovers it but again it all requires you have another computer to log in um, if you don't have other um, kind of 
X servers, VT is running on other Linux virtual terminals to switch back and forth to access up. Um, yeah, that's basically it. I have no words. I wish, yeah, maybe New Year's resolution for open source developers and big companies. Um, I, well, this is also funny, null point of I never, I think I never had that, um, to be fair. I think I never had any warning, right? As far as I've seen, I, I had not a single warning, something failed, timeout, whatever. I had nothing of such things that are, but also, I mean, this is, this is the thing, right? I have here one issue on all my hardware and other people have similar issues, but different warnings, crashes and null pointer differences. I guess the summary is 2023 and CRT like digital video output connector display controller management is still super hard to in all fairness I had a crazy behavior with latest macOS on the Apple M1 side where with a sun display whatever 20 ish inch decade old sun display um, 1000 whatever 600 pixels by 1200 or something of that sort um, if I would wake the MacBook from sleep it would use a really crazy resolution like 800 by 600 so it's not like other peak box operating systems are free of that or Windows probably but yeah leave in the comments below how many issues did you had with audio sound and video um, graphics that's it for today we can continue on the more main channel to develop some Linux stuff. Um, I have some power PC, little Indianus stuff coming. Probably wanna share like and subscribe and also to the more main channel. That's it for this video. It is crazy. Um, have a good day or night. Stay awesome. Maybe debug some stuff. If you have nothing to do, maybe you wanna be sexist. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I again called it cold. Let's check quick look here to the Comments, welcome everyone. Oh, man. <coughs> oh. Someone has asked questions there. How would you compile T2 uh, with compare T2 with Arch? Uh, let's let's move on to the Moment channel as this video gets too long. Otherwise, I'm uh, happy to answer that on the Moment channel in a minute. Um, someone says this wake up thing is fixed. Guess fixed with 6.0. No, it, no, it isn't. Um, I'm running. So this literally uh, 6.1. I didn't reboot this. So um, it this happens. So I'm, this machine is up 16 hours overnight. Um, and it happens. So this Instagram video is recorded this morning when I came to the office. It's like, like, dude, this shit still happens. Um, I, I wanted to record this for a long time. So this video is from this morning. Does it probably could theoretically show there a yeah, 6122 I guess it shows there so uh, it's not fixed um, I could test 613 later but I, I don't have the highest hopes um, yeah see you next time <laughs>